Hello, my friends, and welcome on our webinar about candles. Uh, so in this webinar, I will tell you how uh, candlestick works, uh, how candlesticks work, and how they can be beneficial in your trading. As you can see, I have a chart with candles uh, right now. Uh, if you are just starting, if you are um, a beginner, don't worry, uh, those candles can be confusing at the very beginning, but they are pretty simple, pre pretty easy, and I will make sure that uh, you will understand everything about candles at the end of uh, this webinar. So when you have uh, um, our platform, MT4 platform, uh, you have three uh, default ways uh, how can you display charts. So you have a line chart, of course. Line chart is the most common one, uh, is the most popular one. Like everybody mm, knows how to use a line uh, chart. So here is the line chart. Uh, it's taken uh, from the mm, last price, uh, from the close price, right? So uh, as you can see, it's a current price because the current price is, is currently the last price of the day. Uh, but those uh, previous prices are the last prices um, of that particular time frame. In this case, that's a weekly time frame. So you can see uh, we have an ends of the weeks connected with the line. And this is the line chart. You have also, also bar charts, which are actually more confusing than candles. No, but some people use bars as well. And you have candles. Uh, I hope you remember our previous webinar uh, from Thursday. Uh, I was uh, talking how to start, uh, how to start uh, trading, uh, and I was telling you about books that you should read. And there was a book uh, written by Steve Nissan, uh, Japanese uh, charting techniques um, about candles and other Japanese uh, charting techniques. And this book is the Bible of uh, candles. And if you want to learn more about uh, candles, you should definitely read this book. All the knowledge that we have now, all the Western knowledge about candles is coming from this book anyway. So there's nothing much you can add to this. Uh, like there is the whole knowledge that you should know, uh, that you should have about candles and much more. Uh, and in today's webinar, I will just focus on a few most efficient, in my opinion, candles. And not only in my opinion, but in the general perception of price action. So price action is the way of trading where you don't use any indicators or oscillators. You follow with the trend, you trade bounces uh, or breakouts from supports or resistances and you use a candlestick formations and you use uh, price patterns, uh, technical patterns. Uh, so you don't use most uh, all of the candle uh, stick patterns. You just use few of them. And for example, we have pin bars which group few different types of Japanese candles, right? So uh, price action make it easier. Uh, price action uses not all but the most efficient uh, uh, Japanese candlestick patterns so this is the candle chart but you may be wondering okay how those candles are uh, created of course i do have a presentation for you uh, so um, this is the uh, the presentation uh, i will explain uh, explain you how the um, candles are built uh, but first a uh, small introduction so I guess you should know who is teaching, who is sharing the knowledge. Uh, so my name is Tomasz Wisniewski, I'm a professional trader. Uh, I'm using swing trading and uh, swing trading and price action. Uh, so I don't scalp, I don't, I'm not a day trader. I open my positions for a few days or a few weeks even. I have 12 years experience and I did hundreds of seminars and webinars across the globe. Uh, so that's it. Without further ado, let me show you the candles. So on the left you have a line chart and on the right you have candles. What's happening here is that 
you on the line chart I told you that you have only one um, you have only one uh, I'm sorry uh, yes you have only one price on the line chart on the line chart you have only one price and uh, those points given from the close price are connected with lines uh, but on the candlestick you have on the candlestick chart you have four prices so it's not only the close price like we would have here but it's also an open price let's go like this open close that's two prices you also have in one candle you have two more prices which is the maximum price and the minimum price let's go like this min and max so guys this is for example um one day so this is daily candle v1 on a daily chart what would you receive on a daily chart if that would be line you would receive only one point and this would be point here on close because this is a one day chart uh, during whole day but this chart can be like uh, h4 for example okay so we have uh, close four hours eight hours 12 hours 16 hours of course more we have 24 hours but more or less just for you to understand on a daily chart you would just get one price so the close price of this time but on a daily chart on candlestick chart you have four prices instead of just a point you get four points actually so open close maximum and minimum uh, every candle consists of four prices this is opening which is here which is minimum maximum and close okay and you can uh, you can see it here always the distance between open and close uh, or close and open it's the body so is this white fat piece of the candle everything which goes outside of the body is a shadow is a head or a tail head from the top tail from the bottom so in the meantime here between opening and closing price the price made the local low local minimum and this will be this tail and in the meantime also the price made local high and this will be the head now you can see that during this time during this day the price went higher okay which means that we had a bullish day the price went higher opening is or lower and close is higher if that's the case then the body will be bullish and of course you can change colors by yourself uh, but it's common for the bullish body to have um, white body uh, for the bullish candle to have white or green body okay on the other hand if the close is lower than the open if the close is lower than the open then usually the body is black or uh, or red that's just how it is how people uh, make those candles of course you can switch the colors so for example you can have a bullish body as a black one and a bearish body as a green one for example but why would you do that is the first thing and the second thing is that it would not it would confuse you of course but just from uh, building the candles you can see which is the bullish body or bearish body so for example price goes like this and only this fact that uh, here we have a uh, here we have the same price means that this uh, candle was bullish price close here and then immediately we have an open here so if this is an open 
it means this is a close. If this is an open and this is a close, it means that the candle was also bullish. So those bodies can be really black, but it still would mean that the candle is bullish because the price is simply going higher. But don't make this extra confusion and don't label candles like this that uh, opposite to uh, to everybody else. Don't make this. Just make it easy and uh, and convenient for you. These are candles, my friends, and you have to be aware of the fact that every possible shape of the candle is is possible, right? Because we can have opening in the same price as close, okay? Because the price can open here, make local high, local low, and close here. Then opening is the same as closing, so the candle will look something like this, okay? Uh, let me... Um, open the whiteboard here's the whiteboard uh, so here's the example when the opening opening is here closing is here so the body is like this and the tail and the head is like this we can also have opening here price goes lower and then goes like this how will the candle look like Opening here, closing here, it means that the candle is bullish. And also we had um, we had the tail here because these are lows, open, high. So you can see that the candle the there is a possible candle where we don't have a tail, we where we don't have a head. Of course, there is also a possible candle where we will not have a tail. Price will go like this. Open, close, head, and the candle is bearish. Does not have a tail because a close is the minimum. Here, close is the maximum, so we don't have a head. So really, really, really any combination is possible for example here price opens here collapses reverses how this candle would look like let's do like this hop 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 and hop 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 what's happening here is we have a body like this distance between open and close is a body and then we have a minimum and this is a hammer as you can see that uh, it resembles hammer. We can draw a tor here, legs, hand, head, his helmet. That's a tor with a hammer. You can see. Beautiful. Let's come back to the presentation. And as I said, every single option is possible. Uh, because the price just simply moves uh, that way. So in today's webinar, we are seeing each other because I would like to show you those most efficient uh, candlestick patterns. So first, let me start with Marubozo. This is this is Marubozo. So this is a candle with a, a big body, either bullish or bearish. It doesn't matter. Why this candle is uh, is important? is that it has a deep meaning and me what is the meaning of this candle so first of all there is a bullish candle here what probably price action looked like price started here maybe a small correction but then closed like this what is happening here pure dominance of the buyers sellers did not uh, manage to do anything the same goes with this bearish candle starts here drop 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 pure dominance of the sellers so what those candles show you is pure dominance of one um, side of the market in a bullish marabozo it's dominance of the buyers and the bearish marabozo is the do dominance of the sellers just uh, if you see this candle 
it's okay. But the thing with candles is that you trade them when they are on important levels. So when we, for example, have a bounce from the support with this candle, this is a legitimate signal to buy. It's even better when we do have a breakout of the resistance, when it's happening with Marubozu. It means that the breakout was really strong. There was no hesitation whatsoever. The same goes with bearish Marubozu. Bounce from the resistance with bearish Marubozu, fair enough, strong signal. But breakout of the support with the bearish Marubozu is a legitimate signal to trade and in this case to go short. Let me show you two, uh, two examples. So for example here you can see that we have an upswing, uptrend prices making higher highs and higher lows. Uh, if we have an uptrend, we have an uptrend line and eventually the price breaks this downtrend line. You may be uh, arguing that um, we had the high and the low and there is a tail here and if it's a tail there is no marubozo. Well, there is marubozo, it's not a pharmacy, you can have a small tail and or a head, it's just about the principle. It is about the principle not to be precise that there is a small head for one peep or something. What this candle is showing us that we had a trend change, direction change, there was a big volume here, uh, price broke crucial support and the price went lower. You can see that straight after this the price went higher but in general the, the sentiment changed. And also the fact that this uh, candle was so big uh, make it vulnerable for the correction. Okay, it's uh, very often, um, it happens. Next example, you can see two Marubozos in a row. So we have an uptrend, then Marubozo, which is breaking uh, the uptrend line, and then another Marubozo, which is breaking what? Which is breaking the horizontal support here. Buyers had no chance here, sellers uh, won this battle, maybe this war as well and the price collapses very very strong sell signal in this case okay these are marbozo i think they're pretty simple now let me show you hammers and shooting stars hammer as you already know candle with a small head on the top and a long tail the color of the hat, if it's important, no, it is not so important. The color of the hat is not so important. It can be bullish, it can be bearish. Why? Because look, how different is this? And how different is this? Not really. Why? Because if both are happening on a support, it show both they show the reject the test of the support immediate rejection of the support and an upswing the same goes here up up but in this case the body would be bullish in this case the body would be bearish but the principle changes nothing so what is hammer showing you hammer shows you the re immediate rejection of the horizontal support and it's a legitimate buy signal. What is amazing with hammers is that you have a signal here and then you place stop loss below. So it shows you already where your stop loss should be. And if this is like 20 pips, it also gives you an, an amazing risk to reward ratio because you can go for 60, for example. What's happening with shooting stars? Shooting stars, like, Christmas Eve is approaching, so probably we're gonna see uh, this picture a lot. Shooting star. This is a star. And it's a shooting star. 
What shooting stars are telling us? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Here, here. Clear all. Okay, what the shooting stars uh, star telling us is that the price went to significant resistance and got rejected. And in this case, we have a shooting star. The price went higher, so there is a bullish body. That shooting star shows you the rejection of a resistance. Resistance, resistance. Price tested this resistance and got rejected. Shooting star is a legitimate signal to go short. Sell here. Stop loss here. Let's see two examples or even three how it works. You can see resistance which is coming from this top. Price meets this resistance, creates a shooting star. Boom. Reaction. Then makes a small correction, shooting star again, and boom, big drop. Okay, next one, price drops, ends the downtrend with a hammer, price goes higher, makes a correction, hammer again, upswing, shooting star, drop. Let's uh, stay here for a second. I'm just gonna clear this uh, because look at this. This is also a hammer. It's really easy to find uh, patterns in the history which worked. You tend to ignore those which do not work, but you have to be honest with yourself and you can see that there is a hammer which didn't work. This one worked perfectly. This one worked flawlessly. This shooting star as well, but there was a hammer in the in the on the way which did not work at all, and it was on an important support because you can see this support. So, what I would like to tell you now is, uh, hammers, shooting stars are amazing, but they don't work 100% of the time. Nothing works 100% of the time, so don't go all in. Uh, with one shooting star or one hammer because uh, there is a chance that it will not work out. More often it works. That's why that's the beauty of the technical analysis and that's why technical you can use it in your favor. Uh, but the problem is that it no does not work 100% of the time and don't try to make it work 100% of the time because simply it's not how uh, trading and technical analysis is created. It's not how it works, my friends. Another example, so you have a drop, then a hammer, and you can see also in this, in this case, in the hammer we have a small head. Usually hammers are like this, but come on, does it change a lot in the principle of this formation if we have something like this? No, the principle stays the same. The principle of this formation is that uh, support was rejected. And then there is a shooting star here. So from the hammer upswing to the shooting star downswing. You can see also hammer didn't work out because the price kept going lower. Hammer, we don't know how to send it. And uh, well, you can find out yourself. Also, hammer here, you can see it didn't work out. So, uh, stay sharp and don't fall into the illusion that all of them work and you cannot make a mistake with using uh, hammers and shooting stars. Next one. So, so far I had one candlestick formations and I will finish this webinar with two candlestick formations. So, it's not a single uh, formation, single candle, but two of them. And these are angle things. And this is a bearish angle thing. Uh, bearish bear and bull. This is usually happening after an upswing on a resistance and, and uh, promotes downswing. And this one is happening after a downswing on a support and promotes an upswing. So what is happening here? 
Let's go, for example, with bullish, uh, with uh, bullish engulfing. So the price opens here, drops. Then we have opening slightly lower on the forex market, which is open 24/7. Most probably, you will have open like pips lower, or in the same place. But on the stock exchange, where we have sessions, you can have opening, for example, here. Nevertheless, it's not important because here we have a close and in first case here and second case here and the third case here. So what is happening here is it shows you the rejection of the support. I mean rejection, confirmation of the support because support work and the price goes higher. You can see that if you would connect those two candles together, what do you get? Here and here, that's a body. And that's a tail. You get hammer. So at some point, in some cases, engulfing creates a hammer. Bullish and bearish engulfing creates, yes, you got that right, shooting star. Let's uh, just for the sake of uh, of explaining everything, let me just show you how the bull, uh, how the bearish. Uh, bearish engulfing can be uh, displayed so we have an open and close of the first candle upswing then you have open and close of the second one downswing so what's happening here is this is this so bearish uh, engulfing can create can give us a shooting star a shooting star is bearish the same as bearish engulfing as the name itself shows you this Upswing, bearish engulfing, did not work at, at first, but uh, where to place a stop loss? Slightly above the maximum. It would work eventually. But then you have another bearish engulfing here and the price goes lower. Then you have an upswing, another bearish engulfing, and the price goes slower. Shooting star as well. Hammer. Look, this hammer. If you uh, bought here, stop loss was here. Uh, let, let's say it was uh, 60 pips. Then you have 60, 120, 180. Let's say 180 would not be reached. At least 150 pips, let's say, you would get just from this hammer. It singles with shooting star. Let me just remove it okay, here and let me, you sell here, stop loss is here. That's, let's say 50 pips, 50 pips and 100 pips easily, just with one candle. And the last uh, example of angle things all of those examples, I guess um, I made it pretty clear how it works, so I could show you like 10 examples, it would be all the same. But here, engulfing, bouncing over support, and here, engulfing, bouncing over resistance. Here, look, hammer, and then uh, engulfing. Two strong buy signals. Here, res first resistance, well, here we are establishing resistance. First top, second top. Second top created with a bearish engulfing. Well, that's a drop, ladies and gentlemen. So that's how it works. That's how engulfing works. Uh, my friends, uh, follow us on Twitter. Mm, there is a lot of amazing content on Twitter. I post some great analysis, so I hope you will be able to follow it. There is a Twitter of Axiori, but there is also a Twitter of Axiori Intelligence and Facebook where we post uh, our uh, trading ideas and re not recommendations, of course, because that's what the disclaimer is about. But I post my trading ideas there. Uh, you can take a look and it's up to you what you will do with that, of course. Uh, but this disclaimer showing you that we're not giving any recommendations. We are not telling you you should buy or sell. I'm just sharing my view. Whatever you will do with this is fine. 
uh, just keep in mind to have a strict risk and risk control and money management of course my friends uh, that's it uh, those were the most powerful uh, candlestick patterns and uh, now what you can do is to open chart yourself a platform yourself and try to look for those uh, candlestick patterns and also uh, try to look for them in the future of course, if you introduce new trading technique into your strategy, first do it on the demo account. Don't do it on the real account first. So uh, have a pleasant, um, let's say, play a game with candles. I'm sure that you will enjoy them and that they will vastly improve your uh, results in trading. My friends, uh, that was the Tuesday webinar. We have another one on Thursday. And I look forward to see you on our webinar on Thursday. Thanks very much for watching and all the best in your training.